Welcome back guys. Today we're going to be going over salt beacons. Before I continue any further, I need to uh, state two things. I switched to two Ubuntu systems because I had trouble installing the iNotify package, which is one of the beacon modules uh, to monitor files in salt. And I tried to install it via pip and apt-get, it just didn't work. I believe it just isn't like Python 2.6, and I don't want to go through the hassle of reinstalling salt in Python 2.7. So I just use Ubuntu, which by default uses 2.7. Um, so with that said, if you're running, if you're going to be using beacons, you also have to install I, uh, the package I notify via pip. Uh, it's not included by default with Python or with salt. So you need to run sudo pip install I, I notify. Um, apt if you're using Ubuntu, I notify tools does not install the Python I notify. So you need to run it via pip. Also, don't confuse this project with pi I notify. That's different. Um, that's also deprecated too. Anyways, now that that's out of the way. Beacons. Uh, what beacons is basically, it's a, uh, it's a notification system. Think of it as a notification system. So when file changes, when system loads are high, when people log in, when um, you know, networking disk usage is high, and so on. It's whatever, however you can, you can quantify the, the metric and you can probably react base off of it on salt. So that's what beacons is. It's just reactor. So where does it react? It's just a notification, not a reactor. So, but where does it notify to? It notifies on the salt event bus, which we'll also be going through to, uh, in this video. So we'll be setting up beacon to watch a particular file. And then we'll also be uh, listening on the salt event bus to see if that particular event has been recorded on the event bus. On the next video, we'll be setting up a reactor to set up to basically uh, react on that particular event. Okay. So with that said, let's go ahead and continue. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and write the beacon. So I've already got a file set up. Oh, by the way, beacons can be written in several different formats. Let me, before I continue, beacons can be written directly on the minion config. If you do that, you do need to restart the minion. Um, it can be written in grains. I'm not exactly sure why you want to do that, but hey, to each his own. Or it can be written in pillars, which I, which is what I prefer because it can be put in the uh, Git repository and much easier to manage. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in pillars. Beacons key must be beacons. Or is it beacon? No, beacons. Um, the next is the beacon module. So to watch particular files, uh, to monitor, to have salt beacons monitor particular files, the module is iNotify. Um, so we're going to use iNotify. So if you if you go to this page again, it'll be in the description. The iNotify pack, the iNotify module is watch files and translates the changes for into salt events. So that's basically what you know. It, it's the one that watches files. The HA proxy mo monitors connection, and there's like several different ones that you can use. So there's service here that you know that sees if a service is up or running or has been killed and so on. There's so many masks you can use for it. So that's, that's how beacons work. So I'm going to use iNotify is my module. And with iNotify, you can specify the mask. And the mask we're going to use is just for, mod, uh, for modify. So we don't want to know if it's been accessed, deleted, closed, whatsoever. We just want to know if it's been modified. That's it. So we want to know if it's been modified. But the file, this is an example here. I forgot to put the file. So this is path to directory. So the file I want to watch in this case is going to be slash etc slash ssh slash sshd config. That's a good one to watch. Make sure that your sshd config doesn't actually change. All right, so that being said, uh, let's save that. There's also one more thing I should cover. Um, and that is here. So there, it, if I were to change sshd config via salt state, I want to make sure that the, uh, the beacons is disabled during the salt state run. So I'm going to go ahead and set this to true, which I don't not sure if it is by default true, but could be. So again, that's underneath I notify, set it to true. And that's pretty much it. 
So then this pillar is going to register with a minion. And once it registers with a minion, um, we should be able to make a change, even if it's a comment to the SSHD config file and listen in at the same time, listen in on the salt event bus and see that particular event being recorded. So that's there. And let me go ahead and commit this. There, it's been pushed. I'm not usually doing this. I usually do it via Sublime Text, but there's an error with one of the uh, Git packages in Sublime Text. So it's been pushed. I need to go ahead and pull it. So I'll git pull. There we go. And sudo salt. Uh, been to this this menu on the on the on the right pane is named Ubuntu something uh, and I'll just do state high state and that's gonna go ahead and run every state and we should be able to see it in its pillars so if I do pillars pillar dot items or pillars dot items I'm sorry pillar dot items Yep, there's the pillar, beacons I notify, SSHD mask modify, and so on. All right, so now in this example, in the same page here, there is a uh, view events on the master. So salt events or salt run state dot event. Pretty equals true, makes the uh, JSON pretty. Not that JSON is really pretty, but it's more readable this way. All right, so if you get no return, that means it's running, it's listening, there's just no events being recorded. So now let's go ahead and uh, make some changes to that file. Now let's put a comment. This is a change. And there it is. So we saved that file and this is, this is exactly what happened. So salt uh, package I notify and so on. See, it has recorded that particular package. Now we can go ahead and set up a reactor salt state based on this event. So based on salt beacon, you know, star for all of the minions, and then I notify slash ET. There's two slashes here. I'm not sure why, but that's actually because it's a Linux system. So this is the file and that's probably why. So I notify, I'll probably copy all of this and then just star out the Ubuntu minion part. And whenever that particular event happens, um, we can set up a reactor salt state based off of that to replace the file or do something else, or maybe even run echo and so on. Um, so that's, that's something we can go ahead and do in the next video. Uh, but this video is just to get the beacons running and, and uh, watch it on the event system that it has indeed recorded a message. If I do it again, let's say I remove that message now, and there it is again. So on the next video, we're going to go, we're going to go ahead and set up the reactor. So do join me on that one. And um, we'll see how we can go ahead and set up a reactor based on this Ubuntu machine, even though most of my code is in uh, Red Hat format. But we'll get around that, no problem. I'll see you guys then.